for something joint. Introduce yourself. I just can't even love anymore, man. Man, what's up with it, man? It's Jay Allen. And you know what it is, man. The good always die young. I keep that fire on. Bust a nigga right now. He might lose his life now, yo. <laughs> man, what's poppin' though, man? What's good, man? Growing up in, what's it, Blyville, yeah, Arkansas. Man. You know, how was it? Shit, it, it, it was, you know what I'm saying? You know how I play. Man, it's some of everything, shit. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing good in Blyville, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing them, everybody gang banging, everybody in the streets. School, you know what I'm saying? And, we thugging at school type shit. Really out the mud. It's crazy. I ain't even gonna stunt. When I first came to Eula in 2015, yeah. I had had a couple of classmates. They was from Blabble. And it was like the summer, bro. Them niggas killed. Like, damn, such and such just got kicked. Damn, this happened. He was, they was talking about all they people. I was like, damn, bro, where y'all from? That's and something. he told me. But we got I got cool with him over the time. And he actually let me hear some of your music. But, you know, I'm like, Psh. I don't know him, like, yeah. so I brush it off, I'm like, you know, but it's crazy, though, like, just me, you, and hearing what you had to say, though. That shit, that shit crazy, but yeah, niggas dropping, like, flies down there, and I ain't even gonna lie, like, it's all, it's all fun and game, you know, everybody wanna be gang, gang, but it's shit that come with it, you know what I'm saying, like, like my, my brother just, he down there, lost his life, he got shot a couple, couple weeks ago, he ain't even supposed to be, be with us right now, he be with us. So we, you know what I'm saying, we took a W, cause shit. Oh, some stupid ass shit. Yeah. Uh, a lot I'm of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, gotta watch you, who you around, cause a lot of snakes down there, and a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, jealous, yeah, envy, want what you got type shit, but we ain't gonna speak too much on that. Most definitely. You know, moving forward on the music tip, though. You know, how long have you actually been doing music? I've been doing music for like, I'll say about three years now. Uh, just not getting serious. Like I used to hoop in high school, and I, 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 that's when I was. I always wanted to do music, but I had hoop dreams. Got to college, hoop dreams. You know what I'm saying? Went away. Realized I ain't going to the NBA. Why? Why you feel like that though? Like why you feel like? Cause uh, my dad had, he passed away, and when he uh, he passed away from cancer, and when uh, he passed away, that's when uh, I had to man up. I had to take responsibility. I had to be the man of my household. Help my mama raise my little brothers and shit like that. So instead of like having my focus in school, I'm I'm focusing on them. I'm trying to make sure they good. I'm trying to do that for them. And that's pretty much. I had to get a different type of hustle. No, definitely. So you know, you your first step, you college ain't it. So when did you turn to the music though? Man, I I started doing music. I had damn high. What happened? Shit, we had, I'm trying to think how we got our little studio. I think we had, my homeboy came to my house with a computer and shit, and uh, I think actually it was my, my bitch at the time, computer and shit, and I was using her computer and shit. So he downloaded the studio in that house, so we just got the bullshit and fucking around, and he was mixing, I ain't know shit about that, but I started fucking around with it, and they was telling me, keep going with that shit. Like, like bro, you, you better than these niggas that's already rapping. And you know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't even really that good to me, but shit, I, I kept pushing that shit, uh, kept doing it. Then, you know, as life, life went on, seeing different shit, going through shit, it was, I was able to express myself better with the music. So, when would you say you start to, you know, get a buzz for yourself around your section? I say that buzz came pretty much, I say last year, that's when uh, people start to really know who Joan is, the Joan the rock star. Uh, it's crazy because niggas ain't even want to fuck with me and all niggas want to fuck with me. A lot of niggas want to fuck with me. A lot of niggas want futures. A lot of niggas want to want to work and shit, but they ain't want to work when I was, you know what I'm saying? But that's that's reasonable as an upcoming artist. You know, you can't just get it. You, no handout. So I had to grind it out. Got with my, my boys. They've been with me since forever. And they believed in the same vision I, that I had. We just made that shit work and we still in, in, in go mode. That's real for somebody, you know, to see your vision, not even see your vision, but so, love you so much and believe in you so much. They, 
you know, they they stay down and help you get through the process. That's real. Oh yeah, we locked in for life. When you when you see me, you see them. Most definitely. So you drop what's that? The good die young. Oh yeah. What was the whole you know little setup storyline behind that? Ah, uh, we lost another brother uh, to gun violence. You know. R.I.P. Got it, man. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Got it, man. Oh, yeah, for real. We lost his ass uh, about two summers ago, and that shit fucked the whole city up. He was a real, one. and when we lost him, uh, you know what I'm saying. I was just telling a little story of the situation. And I was, at the time, you know, I felt like a lot of niggas was changing on me. Got to cut a lot of niggas off. Just, you know what I'm saying, narrowed it down to who really who really fucking with me and shit. And, uh, but that's the whole little situation behind that song. Like, I was just expressing, like, my pain and my passion for music, my pain uh, towards him dying, you know, just pour my heart out. Most definitely. So with you being able to express yourself, would you say music is like a therapy for you? Yeah, music most definitely is a therapy. Every time I ain't got nobody to talk to, I go talk to that mic. That's the that's that's how I make it make sense. Sometimes, you know, people don't really Man, he the only nigga I know that be humming throughout the day. Mm-hmm. He'll be like, mm-hmm. 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 just you know, we'll be playing two K. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like just I, uh, all different types of beats in his head type shit. Yeah, just music. Be humming. Yeah. Music always going through my head. I, 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 I be humming anytime I do something, just thinking the lyrics and just whatever come to my mind, but I fuck with that shit. Like that's my that's that's how I cope with with life. So how would you like what type of artist would you say you would classify yourself as? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know, like uh I, I don't even know honestly. Everybody say my shit different. They say I ain't got the same sound as especially from blob or whatever, but I say like People like to compare me to, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Damn, what's that nigga name? Uh, what's that nigga name that, uh, dropped that tape? I forgot his name from, uh, New York. Ace, A Boogie? Who? Hey, that compare me to A Boogie. A Boogie? Uh, what's that nigga name? Uh, I forgot his name, but see, he famous. I just can't think about it. But they compare me to a lot of niggas that just basically sing and rap and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying? I guess because the young type image or whatever that I present or whatever, I don't know. With you being from, what is Blavo? Like, what is the class what region is in Arkansas? What, what, what's that? NEA. NEA. So, with you being from that part of Arkansas, Arkansas kind of buzzing right now. You know, we're we making a name for ourselves as far as a music state. You know, have you ever tapped in with any other artists outside of your city? Who did I tap in? Not, not really. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, four a.m. Four a.m. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I tapped in with him. Uh, I tapped in with uh, my boy J T. De Niro and shit. He from Memphis and shit. He kicking shit. He gonna, he gonna be on top soon. He doing his thing and shit. Uh, they remind me. They remind me of ourselves. They got it out the mud just like us. That's why we click like that. Relate. When I first time I linked with him, it was like you know what I'm saying. That same vibe. That same struggle vibe. So we. We was able to relate. We were talk. Man, it was just, you know how it go. Real yeah, recognize that's real. I, that's why I really ain't had nothing to say about the Blah Bitch this way, because really, you know what I'm saying, I'm from the home, you know, I'm from the base, so shit. And when I moved to Blahville, you know what I'm saying, it felt like, you know. You like the crew. Home, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. For real. Yeah, keep one eye behind your back, that ain't me. We were talk. Man, so, niggas be plotting. As far as the state goes, it's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of positive stuff. In Arkansas, you know, how do you feel about what's going on? Uh, I feel like Arkansas don't really know what we got in hand. Like, we got we got some five people in Arkansas. We got a lot, a lot of talent, but uh, Arkansas, you know, what I'm saying like, here they ain't gonna appreciate you until they they only appreciate you when you dead. And I feel like it shouldn't be that that way. I feel like they oh, should appreciate. Man. Yeah, I feel like, or they'll wait till you come up and that's when they want to ride the wave. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they got to appreciate us while we here. You know what I'm saying? While we in the, in the motion. Arkansas got a lot of talent going on. I feel like we got some big things coming up. I feel like we really next. But I also feel like right now we got to watch other states. Like, we got to watch Atlanta. We watch Memphis. We ain't really got our own, you know what I'm saying, our own sound. And I feel like, for me, you know what I'm saying, 
when I think of Arkansas, I think of struggle. I really feel like over here, we really get it out the mud. Like, we got all eyes against us. I feel like, uh, you know what I'm saying? We don't get no handouts. We got the spotlight on us. So this really was it. And that's just how I feel about Arkansas. You know, that's so real, my nigga. Real talk. Because yeah, it is a lot of talent, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. You coming from, you know what I'm saying? Memphis coming from So, you know, you can just tell. But it's just so him because there's so many motherfuckers out here that's just selfish with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers yeah. out here that's getting it. Look at it like, nah, I ain't finna put this other nigga on. He might surpass me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Some motherfuckers yeah. don't look at the bigger picture. That's why sometimes he ain't really ain't no love in the game. Really, that's why yeah, you gotta yeah, be on know. your own shit, you feel me? Ain't, ain't no love for so, you know. It's like, it shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't feel like I ain't gonna put Lil Bro on just because I feel like he gonna do better than me. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be no hate and shit. I feel like at the end of the day, you putting him on or reflect on you, if anything, I just feel like. That's what it is with Blasio, man. Like, Blasio got so much talent, bro. Like, so much talent. It's crazy how much talent they got, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just don't want to network, bro. Like, that's what it is. Motherfuckers just don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Do what it, it, you know, do what they got to do. Because motherfuckers that's on this level and some motherfuckers that's just down here. Yeah. You feel me? And then they just like, damn, I'm just trying to fuck these niggas that's up here. You know what I'm saying? Try to get, you know what I'm saying? What they rocking with. But at the same time, fuck this shit, man. Like, shit, it's just, if your shit good, your shit good. You yeah. feel me? Like, some folks rocking with your shit, just keep promoting that shit. If you really <laughs> fucking with your shit, just keep on doing that shit, bro. Like, yeah. it's so simple, bro. It's always going to be haters, bro. Sometimes it's going to be majority haters. You feel me? And they still going to be the one listening to your shit. Right. Regardless. Yeah. I mean, we need haters, we need, you know we need everybody, like, this shit, this shit positive in both ways, yeah. like, for real. But I feel like that, that go, that, that just go back to uh, us getting it out the mud. That's, that's the reason why we got to get it out the mud, because motherfuckers don't want to help nobody. And uh, so everybody on their own, and uh, I just feel like it shouldn't be that way. And I feel like, uh, you know, shit, you can always reach out. You can always, you can always network with I'm at the position where like, you know what I'm saying, we we did we did all this by ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if we did all this by ourselves and you know what I'm saying, we we still got a bright future among us. Like, we gon we we just gonna keep doing what we doing, we're gonna stay in our lane. And you know what I'm saying, when they when they wanna jump on board, it might be too late. We, we probably already love. We're gonna talk. So moving forward, what can the people expect from you? Man, they they can they can expect some real. I'm always keep it real. If, if my music ain't good, it's gonna be real. If, if people ain't gonna dig the music, you know what I'm saying, they can deal with what I'm saying. It's always gonna have a vibe, it's always gonna have a sound, but I got a tape uh, dropping in June, but before then I got an EP that I'm dropping before I go to trial. And uh, you know I'm telling what what they might try to, you know what I'm saying, do, but I have some music for y'all. So, and best believe, I'm applying that pressure. New videos coming out. You finna yeah, rap. You pushing that rock star. Yeah, rap rock rock star. Rapping rock star for sure. That's the brand, that's the label. Yep. That's, that's 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 our brand, uh our clothing brand. It's the label, it's everything. It's a rock star world. R W J R R W Love in this bitch. So what can the people find your music at? They can find it on SoundCloud, they can find it on Apple Music, iTunes, anywhere, it's on our platform. Where can they find you on social media? I uh, uh Lil John underscore six. Lil John underscore six. Yeah, we're gonna make sure we're gonna have those down there at the bottom. Yeah, real so, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, real talk. Before we wrap it up though, what's on positive you'll leave for the youth? Uh stay in school. Uh, these streets are where it's at because these these streets got consequences and uh you ain't gotta be tight because you thugging, you know what I'm saying? Be be follow your dreams. Uh don't try to be like nobody else. Uh, be, yourself, be yourself. Stay in school, man. I wish I was in school right now. Boots, where is that, man? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck that gang shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit ain't what it said, man. It's better, it's better shit. But always get that money. Fuck a friend, right. make money. This your boy, Lil Jun, Jun the rock star. Check me out. I start loving him, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. Man, always do J on this motherfucking bitch. And shout out to sure. Underground, man, for sure, man. I man, appreciate right, y'all having me. Shout out to Underground, bro, for real. Yeah, yeah. Keep so going, bro. M to the A, for sure. Shout out Ground Zero.